Several questions about my health, some hand sanitizer, a mask, and a temperature check. 98.6. 97.9, that got me through the door. Now, on with the tour alongside Tyson Group President of Poultry, Chad Martin. Some of the comments that we heard were, you're leading in the industry. First stop was the break room, employees cleaning around the clock. The partitions are new. This outdoor tent also new, giving employees more room to spread out when on break. We are doing everything that we know to do and continue to improve upon to prevent any exposure happening within the facility. Next, there is more gear. We wash our hands and head in to see the processing lines. This picture from the CDC shows what they recommend. It says, if feasible, space workers six feet apart in all directions, ideally so that workers aren't facing each other. Compare that to what we saw today. Workers close together and across from each other. Partitions do separate most of them, but as we saw, not all of them. We asked Martin why, but he referred back to all the other mitigation efforts underway. We've continued to con in continuously improve and work in this area to make it the absolute best to protect our team members because we're committed to their health and safety. So what happens when a worker does get sick? If they're identified through a thermal scanner, then they're sent home and they're asked to, to uh, communicate with their local health provider. Martin says they notify all close contacts of a confirmed COVID-19 patient, but not everyone. The CDC website says exposure could occur from contact with contaminated surfaces or objects such as tools, workstations, or break room tables. Given the number of workers sharing workstations and break rooms, we asked if everyone should be notified of a case. We will continue to openly communicate and, and be transparent with our team on this, um, but being able to have each individual data point uh, communicated at that exact point in time is very difficult, just given the nature of the situation that we're in. Tyson won't confirm case numbers at the facility, but Martin said the facility has not had to cut back on production. I brought up that issue with the lack of partitions there to three different Tyson officials that day. I was eventually told they will install more. That's some good news there. Of course, there is another side to the story, too. We all saw that letter from Chairman John Tyson earlier this week saying the supply chain is breaking. We've seen plants across the country have to shut down due to COVID-19 outbreaks, some working at decreased capacity due to high absenteeism. I'm told this plant here is working at full capacity, but when you look at that video, you have to wonder, can they work at full capacity and still allow their employees to fully practice social distancing? Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.